Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Monticello today. I'm Michael. And I'm Lauren. Coming up this morning, we take an inside look at Mr. Brown's tech ed class. But first, we have a few announcements. Lauren? Student ID cards will be available in the Media Center starting tomorrow. If you had LifeTouch Studio take your yearbook pictures, then you will have an ID card. Still talking about LifeTouch in the studio, October 22nd will be a makeup picture day. This will be the last chance to have your underclass pictures taken. If you have any questions, either about the ID cards or picture makeup day, simply stop by Mr. Martin's classroom, which is located in G104. On a different topic, the volleyball team is having their annual Dig Pink match on Thursday, October 11th against Charlottesville. The team will be raising money during the week to support local families dealing with financial hardships associated with cancer treatments. During all lunches, the volleyball team will be selling tickets that will give the holder a chance to win a free dinner for two at the Melting Pot by hitting a target during the volleyball match on the 11th. Each ticket holder will get one chance per ticket to serve the volleyball into a target. Each ticket is $1 and 100% of the money will go to the families in the Charlottesville area. This event is open to all students and adults. And tomorrow is Unity Day, which is a day that everybody comes together nationally to raise awareness about bullying. To show your support for the cause, just wear orange. Also, you can pick up an orange ribbon at the awareness table in the cafeteria during all three lunches. Still to come, an inside look at what the tech ed class is doing, but first, take a look at the upcoming college visits at Monticello. If any of those colleges interested you, simply stop by P105 to sign up and get the required pass. Now here's the first installment of a new feature we like to call the Inside Look. Mr. Brown, you and your students have a unique opportunity every year through a partnership with the SPCA. Why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Okay. Uh, it's called the HOWS Project, which H-O-W-S, which stands for Houses of Wood and Straw. And essentially we have local uh, businesses that donate materials. We provide the labor and we will, the students will build these dog houses for dogs in our community that don't have an outdoor house that live outdoor during the winter. So essentially the materials come up here, we put these houses together, finish them off, and then the ASPCA volunteers go ahead and run them around the community and give them to people that need them. So what all does the building process entail? Is it, it comes as a kit you build from the ground up? No, we get uh, sheets of plywood and two by sixes and a box of screws. And so the students have to lay out the dimensions. They're already predetermined, but they lay them out. They have to cut the wood, they have to assemble it, finish it off, caulk it so it doesn't leak keeps the water and the rain out. And then uh, once they're completed, they're outside and they'll come by and pick them up. Well, we've been doing some uh, working on dog houses for SPCA and uh, we've been helping out with that. So. That's what we've been doing for a couple weeks now, and uh, we're about finished here, so I think we got maybe one left, and it's a really good experience to do here. You ain't nothing but a dog I mean, it's pretty fun. I mean, we get to use the saws and stuff, so I guess it's all right. Next time, we are going to explore some of the work Mr. Craddock's new class is doing, and then after that, we'll delve into the College and Career Center, so be on the lookout for that. Now, just a few more announcements for the day. This past Saturday, October 6th, the Monticello Marching Band traveled to Spotsylvania for a big competition. The Marching Mustangs placed third overall in their class, and drum major Kristen Grimshaw placed second in drum majors for her class. 
Congratulations to all the marching Mustangs for this achievement. The marching band will travel to Richmond on October 20th for the state marching assessment. And mark your calendars next Wednesday, October 17th, is the day the PSAT testing will take place from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock. Also, here's a reminder that all homecoming guest forms are due this Friday, October 12th. Tickets, however, will be on sale from now until the 25th. Finally, all powder puff forms are due this Thursday, October 11th, no exceptions. And with all that being said, we're done for the news desk today. Sports is up next. Stay tuned. Everybody, everybody, let's get into it. Get stoked, get it started, get it started, get it started. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Let's get it started in here. Let's get it started. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Monticello Sports Report. I'm Thomas. Here's a wrestling announcement for you. Conditioning will begin this Thursday at 4.20 in the mat room. All wrestlers must have a physical on file in order to participate. Tonight, the field hockey and volleyball teams travel to Powhatan to take on the Indians. The field hockey game is at 4, and the volleyball game will follow at 7.15. Tomorrow night, the cross-country teams host Powhatan in a 5 o'clock meet. And on Thursday of this week, the JV football team hosts Turner Ashby at 6, while the volleyball team welcomes CHS to the Monticello Gym at 7.15. That's all of the upcoming game times this week. We'll bring you the results tomorrow. But until then, from Michael, Lauren, myself, and everyone hard at work in our control room, have a great day.